close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. Hi guys, so one thing I would like to clarify, um, before this video begins, the hair treatment was a botoplex. Uh, I thought, I mean, I went into the salon thinking that it's going to be a Sistine treatment. But when I went there, they recommended a Borderplex for me, which is more milder than a Sistine treatment. It, it is something new that's come out in the market. So today I'm going to get my hair Sistine done um, for the second time. The last time that I got my Sistine done was two years ago, which was in August 2020. So now we're in July 2022. And as you can see, my hair have completely grown out and I have also cut them short just a couple of days back. This is the shortest my hair has been in forever. My main problem area is frizz. I have a lot of frizz in my hair right now. It, it looks better still. I don't know how, but it usually gets very frizzy. And I have curls that come out from here, which I hate. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left I'm excited Are you excited? But I think the short hair is good Yeah, it looks nice I think, I think everyone should comment down I'm always excited to not if, if you think this is a new look for Lisa yeah. What do you guys think? Short hair or long hair? Short or long? I feel very light. I, I think she looks more younger. She looks like a um, 19 year old. <laughs> I look a college going girl. Yeah. <laughs> she looks so adorable. How was your morning today? Did you wake up all excited? I woke up 15 minutes before I had the appointment and I had to run. Tell us more about your outfit while we wait. Waking up, wearing your clothes, and getting Just out. Waking up, wearing my full clothes, and running away. <laughs> <laughs> thousand years later. It's worth it guys. Whoever is gonna say something at least. Going around these walls, fighting to create a song. I don't wanna miss a beat. And now we still have hair ironing left. So that's the last step I'm getting for today. And uh, then it's the final wash tomorrow. How does it look? Uh, me curly hair or straight hair? Tell me.
today, obviously because it's just done. It's just iron, it's so straight. But once you wash it, you'll start to see more movement, more bounce. But what we will retain is the shine, you know, the gloss. Okay? Yeah, you can song it, whatever. Once you wash it, come back to being this. The only thing you have to be careful about is you can't use any shampoo and conditioner. You have to use something that's sulfate free, paraben free. Come, let's go. Let's go home <laughs> and protect my hair. <laughs> just came back home um, this is the final look it does look a little bit flat because it's just done but uh, the bounce will come back um, after the first wash and one more thing is that I have to keep this all the product in my hair for a minimum of 24 hours so either I will go for a final hair wash tomorrow or on Sunday Sunday is also fine Sunday as in Sunday is 48 hours today is a Friday so yeah guys also there will be a lot of uh, other questions that I will address. The general questions that usually you all have about these kind of straightening treatments. Uh, Hi, so this is what my hair look after the final wash. Um, so I had left the product on for about uh, 24 hours and I have washed it and this is what they look like. Uh, now the treatment that I got done is called Botoplex and the best thing about this treatment is that unlike keratin or unlike cysteine, you don't have to leave this product on your hair for 48 hours. And the best thing is that you don't have to go to the salon for a final wash. I've washed them at home. And this is a very naturally straight look that this treatment has given me. My problem since forever has been frizzy hair and uh, tiny curls coming out of, of the front, which I've never liked. This treatment is set to last for about 30 to 40 washes, mm. depending on how much you take care of your hair. So moving ahead, I want to answer most questions that people usually have. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to what treatment should you do. Okay, so the very first thing is, what is the process of Botoplex? So the very first thing after I decided that, okay, this is the treatment I want to go for, they took me for a hair wash. They shampooed my hair three times. Uh, after your hair shampoo three times, after that they took me to blow dry my hair. Now how much to blow dry the hair depends on how straight you want your look to be. So and since I didn't want my hair to be super super straight, they blow dried my hair just 50%. After my hair was blow dried 50%, uh, it, they took small sections of my hair to apply the product. The product that was used on my hair was called K9 and they let it sit for about 30 minutes. Now the time that you let this product sit also depends on the kind of look uh, that you want. It depends on the desired look. Again, uh, since I didn't want a very super straight look, they left it on for 30 minutes. After that, um, they ironed small sections of my hair. After my hair was ironed, um, I was free to go. I had to leave on that product in my hair for at least 48 hours. And then the next day, either I could go to the salon for a hair wash or I could wash them at home with a sulfate and paraben free shampoo and conditioner. Talking about shampoo and conditioner, which shampoo and conditioner do I use for my hair? So I have been using the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner, which looks like this for more than two years now. Uh, I use it for volume. Moroccan oil has suited my hair since these two years. I've been very happy. So I've continued using them. Another uh, shampoo and conditioner which I really like is Olaplex. Uh, Olaplex number 415 is the shampoo and conditioner. So um, you can try that out as well. Uh, and there are many others in the market which are sulfate and paraben free. That's the only thing that you need to look out for. The next thing is which product was used on my hair. So as I mentioned to you, uh, the product is called K9. Yeah. A9 it's a white color bottle with blue text on it. Why do they say that this product uh, or this treatment is more milder than other treatments? This treatment did not release a lot of fumes when they were ironing my hair or when they were blow drying my hair. Also it did not have a very strong smell or a very strong chemical smell that other uh, treatments have usually on your hair which has health side effects which is not good for your hair and even otherwise if the product enters your eyes or because you keep touching your hair and stuff like that. The product uh, or the chemical that is usually harmful that is used in these hair treatments is called formaldehyde. Uh, this product is free of formaldehyde which is a very strong chemical compound which is not good. And even on a personal experience I noticed that after they had ironed my hair it did not leave my hair extremely greasy 
Like if you've seen my previous hair cysteine video and when I had just gotten the cysteine done before the final wash, it had left my hair very free, frizzy, freely, very frizzy and it had a lot of, uh, and you could see a lot of product on my hair till I got the final wash done. But this time, uh, as you saw and as you seen in this video, it did not leave my hair extremely greasy. Even after seeing the result, I feel like um, the natural look that it's given me, um, this treatment is much, much more milder than other treatments. Now, who should go for this kind of a treatment? Uh, basically, people who uh, do not really wash their hair too often because this treatment is not a very long-lasting treatment. It would last you about 30 to 40 washes, which is not really too much. So if you are somebody who washes your hair every day or every alternate day, I would not suggest this treatment to you because then it would wash away very, very quickly. Also, for people who desire a very super straight look, I would not recommend this to you again because then you're not going to be happy with it because it doesn't give you a very shiny or a very sleek straight look. It gives you a very natural look. So if uh, natural is not what you're looking for, then um, you can go ahead with other treatments that are available. Another super common question, difference between keratin, cysteine and now Botoplex. Uh, the three most common treatments currently. So keratin is something that is a more stronger hair treatment. It would straighten your hair about 80 to 90 percent, gives you a much more straight, straighter look. It contains this chemical called formaldehyde which as I mentioned is not very very good for your hair but then again if you have done keratin before and it has suited you and if you've heard good things about it and you are happy with it you can go for it. So keratin is something that will last you way longer than a cysteine or a boroplex. Cysteine is something that if you don't want a poker straight look but if you want something that's relatively more straight I would say 80% straight that is cysteine it will last you longer uh, again, all of this depends on how much you take care of your hair. It would definitely last you more than a Botoplex would last you. Um, so if you want to go for something that is, again, not, it should not look like something has been like it's super straight, then you can go for a cysteine. Cysteine basically uses different acids. It doesn't uh, have formaldehyde, different amino acids to kind of straighten your hair and to add that protein to your hair. Um, so yeah, cysteine uh, would be the second best option after Botoplex if you don't want a super straight look. And the third thing uh, is Botoplex. Basically, this is a bonding treatment. It's only a deep conditioning treatment that adds the required protein and oils and peptides to your hair to make it look healthy. And that's about it. So it doesn't con really doesn't really harm your hair or damage your hair to the extent that these other treatments would. Now, a lot of people might tell you or you might read somewhere that, uh, you know, certain treatments cause no harm and they're harmless and no damage to your hair. But personally, even though I do get these treatments done myself, I would not say that this does not cause any harm. I feel like there is harm to a certain extent because of chemicals used which is caused to your hair in the long run. So if you are somebody who gets this done very regularly, I would recommend giving your hair a break every now and then and not get these kind of treatments done more than twice a year. For me, I sometimes prefer getting it done once a year, sometimes giving it a much more longer break. Like I've got this treatment done after two years. I do not believe when people say that this causes no harm to your hair and all of that. There is some kind of damage that eventually uh, happens. So the after care is very, very important. After care, even after the treatments, and even when you're giving your hair a break, it's always good to, you know, keep uh, using hair masks and oiling your hair and stuff like that. Uh, I will leave all of that uh, for another video, how I take care of my hair. Uh, not that I have awesome hair but I do try to keep them like frizz free and I do try to keep them healthy and I do try to uh, maintain the volume that I have because sometimes these treatments can you know affect your hair a lot. This treatment uh, as compared to keratin, like keratin adds a lot more shine to your hair. That is also something that I've done once in the past. Uh, but for me personally, it gave me a very flat look, so I uh, was happy, uh, but also not super satisfied. Botoplex is very similar, containing three main ingredients, which is Botox, Collagen and Plex. Plex is also something that's present in all the Olaplex products, which uh, if you have used them, you will know what they do to your hair. These three ingredients mainly, what it does is it basically revitalizes dull and damaged hair, hair that 
usually people keep straightening every single day so this treatment is very mild it will straighten your hair only 40 to 50 percent and not 80 90 or 100 percent like other hair straightening treatments and what is collagen collagen is basically a very important protein or an amino acid that is present in your hair roots um, that help your hair grow healthy so collagen is something that is present in this product which adds a coat on your hair like a coating on your hair that makes it look healthy uh, botox is something that reduces frizz it adds volume to your hair it reduces dullness uh, increases shine makes your hair smooth so it does all of that so yeah basically these three ingredients that help your hair look like this that's about it guys from my side i hope i've answered most of your questions if you do have any more questions you can write them in the comments below and i will try to answer them all I'll try to reach out to my hairstylist and kind of get the answers from him so um, so yeah if you do have anything uh, i'd be happy to answer them and i do want to know your uh, suggestion when it comes to this look i also have gotten my hair cut very short if you've seen my previous videos you will see that my hair were pretty long i'm very happy it's growing on me it's very easy to handle and manage so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and to share this video if anybody is confused about what to do with their hair bye